All right, we got the last uh, the last minute. I can't even see that. Minute 17 of the game. We're down by a point, 49 to 48. Uh, this is mostly just because it's lots of fun, but here we go. So they uh, they get a drive. We've been talking all game about when someone's beat, coming to help and getting into the lane. We do an okay job of this there. We still we're still turning right. I see how you're turned away from him. You want that left leg up to be in his space. But you did affect the layup, and he missed that. And then we have a good box out here. This is clearly going to be our rebound. So we got it. Unfortunately, we tipped it out of bounds, but then fortunately, he grabbed it while he was out of bounds, and so we got that ball back. So good. We're going coming down the floor. Um, so... Setup's fine. We're setting up five out. Quick pass. Um, this is good, right? I mean, attack. No one's no one's gonna stop Adam until he's like here. And and this guy is not in a defensive, athletic position at all. And and this guy is. So I'll read that. And then you can see Colton's cutting to the hoop, which is good. Let me just see if I can play back in slow motion. Uh, easily. That's fine. I'll just press play. So. Fine take. You can take it a little bit stronger, I guess. Right? Jump straight up. Whereas if you jump toward the hoop there, that 18 is probably going to foul. Um, everyone's back on D. A little more hustle here. Right? Just kind of waiting. A little reach. And then they make a layup, right? 10. Who's that? Colton. So, like, there's a minute left in the game, right? So, right here, when we miss... A layup when we're running back. This should be this should be a full on sprint. If the ball here is ahead of you, this player and this player, you need to just be sprinting back to get ahead of it. Um, you're running, but you're not sprinting. And then look, you slow down here, and it ends up costing us because he makes a nice crossover here. Nothing wrong with that defense. A little bit of reach. He gets he he beats you. But if you were a full step in here, you would be waiting in the lane. Instead, you're out of position. Little reach. And then he makes a layup. So now we're down by three. Down by three points with 51 seconds left. Okay, so we're attacking. And 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 you're aware that we're short on time. So make a move. Um, I like that little, you've been doing this behind the back move. I like this move. Uh, you keep the ball safe. And you might actually catch him off guard. The only piece is you got to keep your head up a little more while you're doing it. So keep practicing that move. But get it so you can keep vision, because there you're looking down, right? And so if Adam cuts and is, and is open, then uh, then you might miss that. Um, that being said, you should cut there, Adam. You shouldn't come to the ball, ball, right? You're calling for the ball here. Well, if no one's on you, cut through and let Caden fill. Okay, this is team offense. You, you standing there doesn't do anything. I see you try to set a pick, but it doesn't really help. You end up getting the ball. You're taking it strong, and can't really see the layup there. Um, I'm not sure if that got blocked or if it was just short. So, uh, back on D. What's going on? Oh, we missed that. That's okay. So, 35 seconds left. I think we take a timeout here and we draw out the play. Well, oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, should have called out. Should have called the timeout there. So, coach, coach mistake, right? We're watching film to get better. 35 seconds left and we're down by three and I have one timeout remaining. So there's one argument to be made to not call a timeout because we have to save it for when we get the offensive possession. But I think the better coaching strategy here, especially when we're recognizing that 17's wide open and we're not seeing it, is to is to yell timeout here. Yeah, we can we can hear here. Um, how do I turn this? We can hear us yelling 17, but I should have been yelling timeout. All right, that's that's my bad. I should call timeout. Okay, but you do get there, and uh, luckily we get the ball. And then here's where I get a timeout call. There we go. So at the timeout, we said that Colton and who's that? Colton and Colton and Caden are supposed to set a high screen so that Owen can go through and come back through it. Now we've never run this in practice, so. We really Adam, just threw that Adam. threw that at you. Lower. Yeah, Adam, lower exactly, right? He's our second look. 
Now, luckily, they're so stuck in their passive 2 3 that they still give us this wide open 3. So we take it, we get balance, you get a good look, you get a good follow through, and it is in and out. Oh, so they get the rebound, we get back, and what do you do? Do you sit and cry that you missed this three point? Is that what we do? Let's see. Just missed that ball. No, you get back, you get in position, and you take a huge offensive foul. Like, oh, I can't go back to it now, but actually I can. Um, right? This is this is the what's next mentality that we talk about, right? You miss a shot, who cares? Go and make the next play. And you do exactly that, and you do exactly what we're saying in terms of getting into the lane, right? It's hard to see here, but you're standing right on the sideline. He's got his head down, and you're about to... <laughs> what did I say? Man up and take a hit, right? You're about to take one right here. Boom, boom. And we get that ball back. It's an easy offensive call in this situation. Awesome job. So, we get the ball back. And I can't call a timeout here, but you guys know that we're looking for a three. Ty, I'm, I'm happy with this decision. I mean, you know there's not very much time. You have an open three. Take it confidently. Okay? I mean, I think this is your first three look of the of the year you know it's, it's, it's not close I'm not gonna sugarcoat it right if, if that's gonna be part of your repertoire then you got to work on that shot but the, the facts being you're open for a three and we're three points down with 15 seconds I'm happy that you took that shot use your legs you got it up there okay and then look at this right, let's just let's just watch it let's just watch sorry I'm talking too much let's just watch it watch this <laughs> oh man, what a play. Look at that. I gotta see if I can slow motion this again. Uh, speed. Yeah, I just wanna see if I can. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Okay. So, that's <laughs> pretty great. All right, so you get a free throw. And like you've practiced a million times. Nice and easy. All right, shooting and everything in basketball is all about getting those reps in, right? Three dribbles, spin, step, legs. Follow through. Arc. Swish. <laughs> so great. <laughs> Hacker filming this is uh, pretty excited. Time out, I guess. Okay. So the play was. Oh, we must have missed a. Oh, that's. Let's see. Is this one? Oh, yeah, that's not it. Um, maybe this one? Yeah, that's the one. Pressure 22! So, I don't know why the quality's lower, but. So they have the ball and it's like something like 15 seconds left. So we said Ty is taking 22, Owen's taking uh, whoever that was, 12 or something, 13. And then the, the rest of us are staying home. And there you go. See, all they're trying to do is getting the ball to their best player. It's as simple as that. And what happens? Boom, boom, steal. Great play. Now right here, that's a clear intentional foul. Just Another coaching thing. I'm gonna look up the rules here, but I'm pretty sure that a intentional foul should be an automatic technical. That's what I was arguing about here. So I'll double check that and follow up with the refs, but whatever. Um, in old basketball, you used to intentionally foul in order to stop the clock. 
but FIBA rules, they've taken that out, so that's not part of the game anymore. Um, so anyways, Ty, get to shoot. I think you make one out of two. Yeah, oh, that's the first one. Good support, hey? Teamwork, right? I like it. I think you make the second one, and then we get back on D. They call timeout. Yeah, that's right. So they call timeout, and their best players fouled out. And so we say, hey, just play passively and uh, defend this. And that's what happens, right? See, now, uh, I'm probably coaching error there. When I, I should have said, like, medium passive, something like that. Because while we do want to play passive, we don't want to give this guy just, like, a free shot that could have won the game. You know, which we did. And, I mean, it's pretty far off, so I guess we're good. That's just for fun. Go back to here. <laughs> That's magic. Now, whoever says set it up here is kind of right. I mean, we were trying, right? He's coming out here to come and get this. You know, and we do, like, we want Owen shooting our final shot. So, but that being said, I mean, what am I going to say, right? Wide open look. And you can't argue with the results. So much fun. <laughs> so good. All right, well, that was lots of fun.